Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. I don't know if you all, as a kid, like peanut butter and jelly, because I sure did. Matter of fact, I still like peanut butter and jelly. So today, I'm gonna do peanut butter and jelly bars. That's right, we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly bar that we're gonna bake in the oven. So come in and see what I have. We've got some flour with some oats that we're gonna mix together. We have a little baking powder, soda with a little salt. I have an egg and you know, I like to put my vanilla with my egg. Here I have some brown sugar, but I'm gonna start with peanut butter and butter. So I have a half a cup of each, half cup of butter, half cup of peanut butter. We're gonna get this cream together. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our brown sugar in and get that cream together. And then we can go on from there. So let's start getting this all creamed out. Now, we've got everything creamed together. Let's go ahead and get our egg and vanilla beaten into this. And we just need this in long enough to make sure that egg gets spread out and the vanilla gets spread out through the entire mixture. So this won't cream for too long. And it's always nice when you're creaming out to sort of put your butter at room temperature, okay? So here I have about one and three quarter cups of flour. I have a cup and a half of oats. We're just gonna mix that in there. We're gonna go ahead and give this a nice little toss just to get that mixed in. But you had your salt and your baking soda. Yeah, I had my salt and the baking soda already in with the flour. That was that little pink spot sitting on top. And you can tell that little white spot sitting on the top. That was our baking soda and our salt. So now, let's start getting some of this in. I'm gonna do this on a low speed to get it worked in. And remember, when you're working something like this, make sure you take a moment and wipe down the sides. Okay, we're done with this. And, and you know, look, this is the texture we're looking for, okay? It's a little dry, it's a little chunky, all right? But that's okay. That's all right, see that? Those oats help bind it together. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. Now, just to make it easier, you don't have to spread the pan if you don't want to. I've taken a piece of parchment paper, spread the bottom of the pan, put the parchment paper down, a little bit of spray on top, this will help me get this out easier, okay? Now the oven is preheating at 350 degrees. I am gonna take about three quarters of this. And we're gonna take it, if it comes out, and I'm just gonna spread this in the bottom of the pan. Of course, if you wanna use your hands, you can use your hands to make it a little easier. Get a little more in. We need a little more in up at the top here. Move that paper so you can see it. You know, trying to get it even the best you can so it doesn't, you know, uh, one side is higher, one side is thicker. Now, I'm using a preserve. If you choose to do this with a jam, it jams are a little less sweet. So if you want it a little less sweet, use a jam. Now I'm using a, a four berry preserve, okay? So I happen to like this. And basically I have 12 ounces of our preserve. And here, this is important. Make sure here that it's not all stacked up in the middle. Try to get your layer to be nice and even without it just being stacked up in the middle too much. There we go, how does that look, gang? I think that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna take the rest and just kind of plop, plop around. All right. 
and I'm not going to mash this down too much. I am going to try and spread it out some. But what's nice is you'll get some of the preserve to kind of poke through. And of course, if you want, you could save enough to where the entire top is covered. Instead of doing three quarters on the bottom, do kind of half and half. But I like a little thicker on the bottom. But remember, always do it to your taste. All right, how does that look? That's gonna be a little thick on that one side there. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, 350 degree oven. This is gonna bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Basically, the top is gonna to get nice and golden. When the top browns off, it's ready. So let's get this in the oven. <clears throat> then that looked really good. Now, what I did with the pan, I took a little spray, sprayed the pan, then I put the parchment paper down in the bottom of the pan. The reason I sprayed it first is so that parchment paper would stick and not slide around when I put the batter in. I did spray a little bit on top of the paper because I didn't want it to move, but the reason I had it overlapping, because once it got done and I took it out of the oven, I let it cool, I ran a knife around the edges. Then I was able to grab the sides and pull it straight out, okay? But it's important, spray the bottom of that pan, then put your paper down so it doesn't slide around. Now take a look at this. Let's see if we can get a nice little, get a nice chunk. Uh, this is almost the size of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, look down in there. Look at the, see how we have the crust on the bottom and the jelly on the top and the crust on the top? That's what we're looking for. And that back edge, you can see the crust is all the way around on that back edge. So there we go. Now remember, I used a multiple berry preserve for this. If you use a jam, it's a little less sweeter, okay? But I tell you, what a great way to honor peanut butter and jelly. So I hope you try this. I wish I had a scoop of vanilla ice cream to plop right on the top. Oh, that would be so good. All right, try the recipe. I appreciate you so much for hanging out kicking with me today. All right, keep being safe. We're almost there. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we'll see you soon with more recipes.